welcome to the Water India show. Thank you. Uh, first and foremost, making India is, is catching on. Is the Prime Minister endorsing it in a big way? Uh, how motivating is it for industries like you, entrepreneurs like you, and, and for companies like yours? No, it's very motivating. I think this is a big opportunity for anyone and everyone in India. Because if you look at the core strengths of India, it's, uh, you know, you have uh, good labor, you have, uh, you know, young labor, you have, uh, you know, a good cost of uh, manpower today. So that gives you an opportunity to produce in India and supply to the world. So make in India is definitely very attractive for everyone today. Okay, and um, early in the day, Mr. Osama Suzuki mentioned that, you know, quality in India, make in India, we have to move together. How pertinent is quality today? If I look at it from, say, even a 10-year perspective, the quality of the auto component industry, say, 10 years back, and the quality of what the auto component industry can deliver today, there's already a substantial improvement. Whether that is enough or not is a separate issue, but there has been a great improvement. In terms of looking at the future, uh, yes, there is lots to be done. And this is something which will happen. Of course, companies need to give more uh, attention and time to these initiatives, but looking at the aspirations of, uh, you know, OEMs, be it Indian or uh, MNC OEMs, one will have to improve on quality because make in India <coughs> cannot happen just in terms of, a, you know, low-cost manufacturing, but has to be quality at the same time. Okay, that's very pertinent, obviously. And uh, one last question is, uh, what are the challenges? Make in India has been happening ever since we got our independence, you know, for example, entrepreneurs have been there much before that and been working on making in India. Now, what do you expect the government to do in terms of, you know, helping you to walk straight on that path of making in India? If I take an example of, say, a commodity and if I talk about purely aluminium castings and say, why can't, you know, India really leverage the opportunity of producing aluminium castings for the world, for example, which is again part of Make in India. Make in India does not define or say that only this qualifies as Make in India and that does not. It's open to anything and everything that you can make in India. But <clears throat> what is needed from the government is, you know, for example, support to, uh, you know, leverage these kind of opportunities. If I compare, say, you know, normally India is always compared to China. There's a lot of support that the Chinese government gives to aluminium uh, producers in China which does not happen in India and that is one of the predominant reasons why they are today as cost competitive as they are not because the cost of manufacturing there is lower but the cost of uh, you know or the support from the government has made it more cost effective so something like this the government also needs to do in terms of you know giving opportunities for Indian entrepreneurs to really leverage that make in India story because purely entrepreneurs by themselves will not be able to do it the whole ecosystem will have to work towards it. It could be as simple as, you know, creating the necessary ease of doing business, creating, uh, you know, allowing, uh, you know, faster setup times, allowing, uh, you know, faster clearances from uh, government authorities. Could be anything and everything to make you more competitive, end of the day. Because Make in India will not happen till you are competitive. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. There's now one more reason to drool. The Honda CBR650F.